Hello, YouTube. I'm Kevin Tetz. You're all wonderful. And today we are conjuring up some trouble for stackers as we unlock the Jack Volt Storm for the Storm Ender launcher. In addition to that, we not only get one unlock with that aftermarket part, but we get a second unlock because this week is when we will be clearing up that drawn and quartered camo. We will be able to get our hands on that and we will be trying out both of those today. Now, keep in mind, I need to say this right up front. After this week, I don't know if Drawn and Quarter is going to be available. The season is still progressing, as you can see just right up here. It does say that the season ends in 24 days, but we also know that a lot of the developmental effort is going from Modern Warfare 3 over to Black Ops 6 and working on the integration of Black Ops 6 into Warzone. So I do not know if Drawn and Quarter will be available after this week. I implore you, if you have not gotten it done yet, start on those challenges today. Do it now. Thank me later. Okay. Now, we've got a few challenges set up here. You know that I'm going to go over them with you. We're going to unlock that Voltstorm and, the, and that camo together. And honestly, I took a peek at the challenges already. I think zombie challenges are the hardest ones out of all of them this week. But we won't know for sure until we go over them. And then you can let me know what you think the hardest challenges this week are down in the comments. I'm over on this side of the screen. So that means we are going to start diving into deep detail on these challenges. And we are going to start with multiplayer. Over in multiplayer, you are looking at 25 kills while moving, something that most people are doing anyway. 20 hip fire kills, 10 quick scope kills, 20 kills after swapping weapons, 10 kills on full auto, five, using five kill streaks and EMPing five operators or kill streaks. Uh, in order to use that EMP, you're going to want to have the storm under equipped. This is something, you know, you can pick pretty much any five of these and get them done pretty simply as long as you are able to put up the, the requisite numbers, right? 25 kills while moving, like I mentioned, most people are doing that anyway, unless you're proned out. And honestly, it's an arcade shooter, you should be having fun. If you're prone, to, like if, if you are just proned out, not working on a challenge, I don't think you and I can really understand the same, the same philosophy of playing this game. 20 hip fire kills, very simple, especially with the way that the game has operated in terms of bringing back so many one-shot kill metas, even with hip fire, like the Lockwoods, like the dual shotguns with the Reclaimers, things of that nature. Those are hip fire kills. You can't ADS when you are dual wielding shotguns. It's impossible. Now the quick scope kills, that's something that you're going to want to change a little bit, right? Like you have to have something like a, a sniper or a shotgun that you can quick scope with. 20 kills after swapping weapons. If you are a TikToker YY demon, this is your challenge. Super easy, right? All of these are things that you can also stack. So like I said, the the quick scope and the hip fire are diametrically opposed. You, you pretty much can't do those. But 25 kills while moving with either one of them, you're doing fine. 20 kills after swapping, that's very easy. If you've got one of the guns that's a hip fire build and one of them that is something on full auto like an AR, boom, you're working on two challenges at that same time. Uh, five kill streaks is something totally removed from a specific weapon. So you just drop in, you get your UAV, you pop it, you die, you get your UAV, you pop it, you die, everything like that, okay? Very, very simple. I think these are probably some of the easiest challenges that we've seen for multiplayer in one week. Taking a look over at Warzone and Battle Royale now, these are going to be very, very similar to the challenges that we had in week two. So you're looking to open 20 loot caches in four separate regions of Urzikstan. That's 80 caches total throughout the Northwest, the Eastern, the Southern, and the Central regions. You also need to be placing top five, uh, top 10, I'm sorry, five times in any game mode that has a placement mechanic, including resurgence completing 15 contracts and getting 10 kills or assists. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Purgatory is still going on over in, uh, over on Rebirth Island. A couple things there. One, you can do contracts on Purgatory. And two, uh, you can get kills and assists on Purgatory. So two of these are going to be very easy on a respawn mode where you have two hours to get things done. Very, very simple. Importantly, Purgatory doesn't have a placement mechanic, so there's nothing like that. Um, and because it's only on Rebirth and not Urzikstan, you can't make any progress on those loot caches that you need to open in Urzikstan. However, if Plunder is still on the playlist when you are looking at this video, Plunder is your friend. I'm going to say it every week. If you can use Plunder, Plunder is your friend. These are things where you are just focused on these specific specific challenges. Now, if you are just doing this while you are playing the game, dropping into quads or solos over on Urzikstan, by all means, have fun with it. Finally, taking a look over at our challenges for zombies and why I think these might be the hardest challenges uh, this for, for any game mode this week, we're looking at 300 kills while moving. Very easy. 30 PhD flopper kills. 
250 kills with an assault rifle and speed cola active, 150 cryo freeze kills with an SMG, 200 kills in the high threat zone, one abomination kill, and one warlord kill. So this is the first time where, well, I think this is the second time total where we've had high threat zone kills specifically called out. In addition to that, if we are looking at things like the cryo freeze kills, those are pretty difficult to get. The cryo freeze kills, remember, those are the ones where we can't be using, like we, we can't get one shot kills on things. We need the cryo freeze to become active first and then get the kill while the zombie is frozen. So these are things where it's going to be kind of difficult to get the, the RNG needed to get all of these cleared out, but I'm going to be focused on the first five that I listed. The kills while moving, the PhD flopper kills, the assault rifle and speed cola kills, the uh, kills in the high threat zone, and the cryo kills with the SMG. Importantly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to absolutely juice up an assault rifle, and I'm going to use that for both the speed cola and the high threat kills, right? So I'm going to, to bring in an assault rifle with me and just get just just make it an absolute beast and get that as tough as we can make it to get those kills done as quickly as possible if if i'm in the high threat zone and i end up getting an abomination kill cool pretty thrilled about that that's not what i'm going to be aiming for i'm actually going to be probably dancing along the the outsides of the high threat zone getting my kills that way especially as a solo player I don't want to get deep into the trenches of the high threat zone, get downed, and then barely make it out, and then get downed again, and it'll be a bad time, right? So my focus here, SMG, assault rifle, going to be bringing in uh, cryo, uh, cryo freeze ammo mod, obviously, and then we are going to try to get this stuff done with the SMG early so that we can stack our essence, buy up a ton of, uh, of Pack a punch. I don't know what, what I'm trying to say here. My mind just went just went entirely blank. Um, try to to buy up all the perks that we need. Not like perks, but like all of the the boosts that we need on our assault rifle, and then draw and then get into the high threat zone at that point. Ideally, what I'm gonna have happen is have those 150 cryo freeze kills done within 10 minutes, right? So then everything else can be about getting my assault rifle pack a punched, juiced up, getting into the high threat zone, and going ham. All right, team, I'm back over on this side of the screen. We're going to take a quick look at the loadout, and then we are going to drop into that Zombies game. As you can see, I've got my standard four perk... Actually, hang on, wait. I forgot one. I forgot one, team. Um, I've got my standard four perk colas I do need a fifth one here. I need the PhD Flopper. That's what I need. Um, cool thing about the PhD Flopper, it's got a side effect where you don't take fire damage from your own stuff or from things like Hellhounds. So you can kill Hellhounds right next to you, stand in the fire, and you're not going to get hit, which is great. I also obviously have the Cryo Freeze. We're going to be putting that on the SMG, uh, I'm, which I'm bringing in the WSP-9 and the MTC-556. They're just two of my favorite weapons to use. I just like the way that they feel. Uh, use whatever you like. This one, you don't, it's, you don't have to have it. It doesn't have to be recommended. It just use whatever you like. Use whatever you do well with. So I've got five Perca-Colas. We've got the Deadshot Daiquiri, the Juggernog, the uh, Stamina Up, the Speed Cola, and the PhD Flopper. I've also obviously got that Cryo Freeze Ammo Mod. I've got two purple Aether Tools to juice up my weapons. I've got one Aether Crystal. I think I'll actually probably hold onto the Aether Crystal until after I've done everything with the WSP-9. And I may just use that to get that MTZ-556 up a little bit earlier to get us a little bit of a shortcut in terms of getting all of the uh, the pack of punching that we're going to need to do in order to hold our own solo in tier three. All right, so we are juicing up first. So importantly, right? Uh, I have to put the cryo freeze on my SMG. Super important. There it is. That should be all of them. Nice. Perfect. Okay, that's one down. That's one down. We're almost 10 minutes in. Oof. Okay. Okay. Uh, 70 of 150, so we're almost halfway there. Whoa! God, I've got the just the pipes of an angel. Let's go. Let's go. No. Yes! Yes! Okay. All right, cool. All right, so I'm done with everything with my SMG, which means, oh, I never, I didn't juice up either of those. I was just wondering, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay.
Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if that counted. It did it! It counted, it counted, it counted! Let's go! Let's go, team, let's go! I have no ammo. Um, there we go. Alright, um... I guess, I guess now that we got the A-bomb kill, kind of with the help of some of those other guys, I don't really need to worry about it. Like, we'll, we'll get the other kill on our way, on our way out. So I can just, just head out of here. Zone. Or we'll, not the other kill, we'll get the other, yo, wait, why is everything so weird right here? Why is everything weird right here? I'm getting like a ton of, of stutters and things like that. I can't like, I can't. There's like an invisible wall or something. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, we, we win those. We win those, team. We got the A-bomb kill. That's really what did it for us. Uh, that's our fifth one. We got our challenges done. We got the weekly challenges. We got the the seasonal weekly challenges. We're good. This is... We're juiced. Playlist update? I think playlist update, but let's see. Maybe playlist update. Play, playlist update, let's go! I called it. I'm very good at calling it. Because all I want is to see the little progress bars go. It's like a little dopamine hit every single time, and I never get it. Anyway, let's take a look at those challenges. Okay, so you can see right here, we've unlocked the Drawn and Quartered. We're going to be using that. We're going to take a look at that Jack Volt Storm. Uh, I have completed 300 kills while moving 30 kills from the PhD Pro Flopper Explosions, one A-bomb kill, Abomination, uh, 250 kills with an Assault Rifle while Speed Cola is active, and 150 Cryo Freeze kills with an SMG. I just didn't want to stick around. I only needed 34 more uh, kills in the high threat zone, but I just didn't want to stick around there. So let's take a look at that Voltstorm. I'm going to try it out in multiplayer in a small map so that I can maybe clump a bunch of people together. Importantly, we didn't really go over this, but the description that Call of Duty has on their website is that it is essentially the Wonder Waff. Like you can, you, it, it's an electrified bolt that attacks more than one opponent at a time. So we're going to try it out. Okay. So taking a look Taking a look at the conversion kit, putting on the Volt Storm, you can see that the effective range goes down quite a bit. Target flinch looks like it goes up. Uh, we don't have any damage stats, though. And this is a thing that it, it didn't really have damage before, but I would think that uh, high voltage electricity is cycled through copper coils and discharged in a lethal bolt hit, capable of hitting multiple targets. I would think that that does damage. It's a lightning pulse. It's a lightning pulse, but I'm not sure. So I guess let's take a quick peek in, obviously, hang on, hang on. Obviously, we need to put the camo on there too. We need to put the, is, that, is it special? Oh, it's gotta be events. Okay, we can see it right over here, drawn and quartered. Uh, we'll head into the firing range with this and take a look at it to see if it actually does damage. I just, I'm kind of surprised that there's no specific instance of, of it doing damage, but obviously first we have to inspect it. Okay, so it whirs up quite a bit. There's, um, there's no ADS. You can't, you can't ADS with this thing.
Okay. I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to figure out exactly when you can, you can actually shoot. You can obviously charge it for a bit. And then there's... You... So you do have to get a little bit past that initial, like, charge-up sound in order to shoot it. We're... I don't think we're doing any damage, team. I'm gonna try it in the... I'm gonna try it just because it'll be fun. But... I don't think we're doing any damage. <laughs> I don't think this is doing any damage. I think it's hitting people, but it's not doing any damage. So let's, um... Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is great. This will be good on hardpoint. Because you should have people stacked. And I want to see the way that this reacts to hitting multiple people. That's that's my goal here. I don't I don't care if we win. I don't care if I go positive. I just want to get this thing to hit more than one person at once to see what happens. Is it like a shock stick where maybe they're not damaged too much but they're thrown off? I don't know. I don't think I killed them. I got hit by a... I'm just running around with this thing, or like just charging it up all the time. I just want to hit somebody with it. I didn't even hit that guy. <laughs> Please get out of my way. That is the worst part about playing this game with other people. I I didn't hit him, I guess. I don't know. I can't. I Team, I don't understand these, these like, meme weapons. I'm, you pretty much, like, you have to charge this, right? So you can't just... <laughs> you have to charge. <laughs> this is so, this is so goofy. I haven't gotten a single fucking kill. I'm not, I'm not hitting people. I don't know how to hit people with this. I don't, I don't, I'm using this so poorly. I don't understand how. <laughs> Wait, I, sh I killed somebody. I killed somebody. I don't know how. I don't know how I killed them. <laughs> I got a one shot, one kill with it. I still, okay, okay. I still want to hit more, like, I still want to hit multiples with it. I just don't know how. Oh, I got both of them? I got both of them? Hang on. Because we're going to see both of those guys just, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Alright, so this is a meme, but it's at least a pretty cool meme. Do not use this. The risk reward is not worth it. I got, I got sliced. <laughs> Take that. I heard it. I heard him come up right behind me right at the last moment. Okay. Oh, that's bad. I can't believe this guy's still- wait, this is actually the worst. This is- that's the worst. That guy's gonna be so pissed. Alright, this thing is a meme, but I do like it. I don't know, we're getting MW3 Rewind events? I guess that's cool. I don't know what, I don't know what that means. I need, okay, so we'll hit two people like right behind one another. Why are we getting spawn killed? 
It will hit two people like right behind one another, but it doesn't seem like it's too close in terms of adjacency. How is that guy just standing right there? How are people letting that happen? Why did I get scared? <laughs> I'm like in the middle of dying and they're like, what if you, what if we just scared this guy, shot that guy right in the penis? I don't, like, this person needs to give it up. What are you, like, what are you doing? Oh, I hit him too. I must have, I must have hit them with the one shot, one kill, and they got really mad about it. <laughs> oh, that's the way it goes. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't hold it down long enough. Okay, you, you have to charge it. So, like, you're kind of screwed, right? For at least a little bit. Like, the rate of fire is not good on this thing. But holy crap, the way that you feel when you when you land one of those shots, you feel like a king. And if it does hit two, whoa. Goofball. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun to use. It is, it's absolutely goofy, and I do not recommend anyone actually use it if you're trying to win a game. But it is a lot of fun. <laughs> it feels it, it's it feels weird to use. I don't say, I won't say that it feels good or bad. It just feels weird. And the way that you just yeet their bodies is is so good. Okay, remember the, I, I do have to remember they really shorten up the range on this thing. It's not a super far range. It's uh, it's only, it's only like seven meters or something like that. If you can nail this, yeah, I did run directly, directly back into that mortar. If you can, wow. If you can nail this down, you're actually in a pretty good spot, but like, that's not what I wanted to do. No, that, that, that guy's not even on my team. I just didn't even care. I don't know how I missed that. He was he out of he might have been out of range, but it just it didn't feel like it. <laughs> oh, that guy, that guy did not want to deal with my shit again. I'll take it. I'll take it every time. This is so goofy. I haven't gotten a... Okay, so remember when I was like... Hey, it's fine. You just, you know, you gotta, you just gotta get your. <laughs> Remember when I was like, you just gotta get your kill streaks up. That's all. Uh, even, even if you're in a sweaty game, you can sometimes. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't always. 
Uh, I do really, really want to fuck up this person. Hang on. I don't know how that I didn't stick them with that. Oh, I love a good stick. <laughs> I was waiting for it to charge up again, and my man was just staring me in the face. No! He slid out of the way because I went up. <laughs> No shot. This thing is crazy, dude. I got... Did I just get, like, four kills in a row right there? <laughs> oh, that shit's crazy, dude. Oh, <laughs> this, is, this thing is a lot of fun just because it's so goofy. It's fun because it's goofy. Like you could pretty easily get quite a few kills with it. My shaders are getting wild because I'm too good at the game. Yeah, I, I was way out of range. That was fat. That was crazy. That was crazy for it to flip like that. I guess there's a, a new... Okay, there's an MW3 Rewind. Let's take just a quick look. I haven't looked through these. Um, are they only... Is it only MW3? It looks like it might be. There's a Live Laugh Lava camo, though. So I'm interested in that. All right. And you can see it's right behind my head. But we've gotten some of these done. They have a number of camos in here. We've got one, two, three, four different camos. Five? Five camos. And then you get the Jabber Batch Test and Balloon and Balloon Test. Uh, What's that? Skins. I thought so. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's very reminiscent. If you if you participated in the MW3 uh, beta before it came out, you could actually get a Jabber skin that way. So uh, it's kind of cool that they did that here, where you can get another Jabber skin very much in a similar similar style, uh, just with a different sort of uh, colorway and a different like same same general idea without being too different right like it, it 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 echoes it rhymes anyway uh krampus in town no way they've got krampus all right so we got which one did we get which one did we unlock we unlocked the calling card and we had to get 10 operator one shot one kill or melee kills in order to do that so let's see we've got 10 operator kills with the melee weapon while sliding or shortly after sprinting so that might have been what that one person was doing but they kept doing executions uh, two operator kills with an LMG or pistol within 15 seconds, five times. That'll be very easy on small maps, especially on your shipments. Seven kills with the Jack Purifier or Thermo Barrett Grenade, which is why we saw more of those Thermo Barrett Grenades. Three double kills with the Spear or Sledgehammer. Honestly, might be kind of difficult for this one, but it's only three double kills. So, And I think double kills are five to seven seconds, so you've got a little bit of time in there. Seven double kills with an Akimbo attachment equipped to an SMG. Okay, not too bad. There's... Uh, I think there's only one, right? The the WSP Swarm. I think that's the only one that has an akimbo attachment on the SMG. Uh, 15 operator kills with a suppressed weapon and the black light flashlight perk equipped. That's your tracker perk, the black light flashlight. Seven one-shot, one-kill operator kills with the crossbow or torque 35. Okay. Five headshot kills with LMGs. Okay. 
10 operator kills with an, extre wait, with an extreme magnification scope or a hybrid scope with extreme magnification active equipped to a sniper. So that might be one where you don't want to be playing on a, on a small map. But you could. You just have to understand that it's you got to be extreme magnification. Extreme magnification, I think, is at least six times. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's at least six times. Try it out with six. If you're not making any progress on that, bump it up to eight. Uh, deploy five counter UAV, UAV, or advanced UAV killstreaks. Okay, so this can actually double up with some of our weekly challenges too if you're getting to this after I've started these. The sparkle and shine camo, I like that. Uh, 15 operator kills with an akimbo attachment equipped to any weapon. Okay, so you can double up between the SMG one and this one. Seven hip fire kills with the tier or basilisk pistol. That might be kind of difficult, but if you do the, if you run the akimbo, uh, if you run the akimbo tiers, you might be able to get this done pretty, pretty easily. Perform three finishing moves on operators. That might have been what that one person was going for. So, and then other than that, the batch and batch test and balloon test for Jabber. That's a uh, that's pretty cool. So there's a lot that they have to finish off the, the game here to, to kind of sunset it, wave goodbye. We've got what, five, six, six camos. Live, Laugh, Lava, Sunset Armageddon, Cloudy Day, Tall Order, Sparkle and Shine, and Bricked. And uh, that's that's cool. Now, so we took a look at the new event. We took a look at the Jack Volt Storm. Do not use it unless it's for the memes because, oh my God, that thing, it takes forever to load up. It takes forever for that for that shot to like, charge up you saw that i was able to get a number of kills rapidly but i needed people to like feed themselves to me at the right at the right clip right I, at the right cadence i couldn't just off one two three right it had to be like one charge two charge three so that's what you should be that's something that you should have in mind and especially when you've only got like the what the um the the like six meter range Honestly, if you're using this in Resurgence or something like that where you're trying to, to punish stackers, I think this has at least some sort of a, of a use case there. But you've got a slow charge time, a poor rate of fire, and it didn't seem like it was very good in terms of adjacency. It was more like straight line, it is going to hurt people. Uh, if you have any success with that, let me know down in the comments. I want to see how this plays out against actual stacking teams in other game modes like in Resurgence or in Urzikstan. Uh, just keep in mind you're going to have to have kind of an all-around weapon as your as your other weapon if you're running the Volt Storm here. And other than that, folks, if you like the video, like the video. Hang out with me when I'm live here on YouTube or over on Twitch. And that's it. That's, that's it for MW3. That's it. We might have something next week if there's more events to do, but... Other than that, thanks for being with me for, what, like the entirety of this game's life cycle. That was very cool. I'm not sure yet if I'll see you over on Black Ops 6, but stay blessed, be kind to others, be kind to yourselves, and I cannot wait to catch you in the next one.